6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The caretaker prime minister has directed to align the medical education with the requirements of modern era. The president has emphasized the inclusion and mainstreaming of persons with disabilities by providing them opportunities of education and employment. The Pakistan Navy has inducted 5th ATR aircraft at a ceremony in Karachi. The All Parties Hurriyat Conference has demanded implementation of the United Nations resolutions to end the saga of death and destruction in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The United Nations Secretary General has expressed concern over the resumption of deadly Israeli bombing in Gaza. The Pakistan women cricket team has made history by winning the T20 series for the first time against New Zealand. And now the news in detail. The caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haqqaqar has directed to align the medical education with the needs of modern era. He was chairing a meeting of the Task Force for Strategic Reforms in the Medical Education and Patient Care in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister said the current situation of the health sector needs reforms and in this connection nursing is a very important sector and needs more attention for its development. The caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haqqaqar, reaffirming Pakistan's commitment to the war against terrorism, has said efforts will continue till the complete elimination of the scourge from the country. In a statement, the Prime Minister strongly condemned the blast on Warsak Road in Peshawar that took place this morning, injuring five persons, including four children. He said terrorists will not be allowed to destroy the peace of Pakistan and those responsible for the incident will be identified and brought to justice. The caretaker prime minister directed relevant authorities to provide the, the best medical facilities to the injured, particularly children. He also directed law enforcement agencies to complete investigation into the incident at the earliest. The caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haqqaqar has urged religious leaders to highlight the issue of climate change in the teachings and sermons. He was talking to a delegation of Daudi Bohra community headed by Dr. Sayyidina Mufaddal Safuddin in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister said due to harmful impact of climate change, the entire world is facing the threat of extinction. Anwarul Haqqaqar said the people of every religion, color and creed in Pakistan enjoy equal rights. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has conferred Nishane Pakistan Award upon the head of the Bohra community, Dr. Sayyidina Mufaddal Safuddin, in recognition of his services in the field of spiritual guidance and social services. The investiture ceremony was held at the Avani Sadr in Islamabad today. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has emphasized the inclusion and mainstreaming of persons with disabilities by providing them opportunities of education and employment. He was speaking to a delegation from the Center for Peace and Development, initiatives comprising social activists and persons with disabilities in Islamabad. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has underlined the need to eliminate women harassment at workplace to ensure their vibrant role in the economy, addressing an awareness event, 16 days of activism against gender-biased violence and harassment of women in Islamabad today. He termed provision of property rights to women as a prerequisite for their economic empowerment. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. The Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Murtaza Sulangi, has said smoking poses a threat 
to human lives like environmental degradation, addressing an event in connection with creating awareness amongst children about the harms of smoking in Islamabad today, he emphasized that effects of smoking are evident in our daily lives. Murtaza Sulangi pointed out that smoking also increases costs in the health sector, stressing that like other harmful substances, smoking should also be highlighted. The Minister for Food Security and Research, Kossar Abdullah Malik, has vowed to take effective measures for the promotion of higher education and research in the country. He expressed the resolve after being elected as the 20th, 20th unopposed president of Pakistan Academy of Sciences for the next two years in Islamabad today. The Pakistan Navy is in the process of acquiring ATR aircraft and modernizing them to carry out maritime reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare missions at sea. In this regard, an induction ceremony of the 5th ATR of Pakistan Navy was held at the Naval Aviation Base PNS Mehran Karachi. The Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral Naveed Ashraf, graced the occasion as the chief guest. The newly inducted ATR aircraft acquired from Pakistan International Airlines is equipped with day and night flying capability to undertake ferry logistic support, medical evacuation, general evacuation and training missions. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief of the Naval Staff highlighted the importance of evolving geostrategic environment in the Indian Ocean region and emphasized the need to have a potent naval force in order to counter the emerging challenges. The Finance Division has released 17.4 billion rupees to the Election Commission, in addition to 10 billion rupees released in July this year for the conduct of general elections in the country. This brings the total released amount to 27.4 billion rupees for holding the general elections. In a statement, the Finance Division said it remains committed to the provision of funds as and when required by the Election Commission of Pakistan. World Soil Day was observed today. The theme for the day this year is Hold Soil Salinization, Boost Soil Productivity. The Delhi High Court has fixed February 14th for hearing a plea filed by India's dreaded National Investigation Agency seeking death penalty for illegally detained Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front Chairman Mohammad Yasin Malik. The High Court today directed the superintendent of the jail to produce Mohammad Yasin Malik through video conferencing before the court earlier on the 10th of May. Having noticed partiality and bias of the Indian judiciary, Mohammad Yasin Malik had refused to defend the charges against him in the National Investigation Agency Court. On May 25, 2022, the National Investigation Judge Praveen Singh unilaterally sentenced Mohammad Yasin Malik to life imprisonment in connection with a fake case about pro freedom activities and funding. Baffled by the growing pro-freedom activities, India's dreaded National Investigation Agency carried out raids in several areas across occupied Jammu and Kashmir. On the other hand, the All Parties are at conference in a statement in Sirinagar while expressing serious concern over the worsening situation in occupied Kashmir demanded implementation of the United Nations resolutions to end the saga of death and destruction in the territory. The Israeli forces have intensified its air and ground assault across the Gaza Strip, martyring dozens of Palestinians in several localities. Non-stop heavy artillery shelling, relentless airstrikes and mass bombardment in multiple areas are being carried out. The vast majority of residential homes and public facilities, including schools, hospitals, medical centers, and shops in Gaza, have been completely destroyed. Qatar has called on the United Nations Secretary Security Council to force Israel to return to the negotiating table over the war in Gaza. 
addressing the 44th Gulf Cooperation Council Summit in Doha, Qatar Zamir Sheikh Tamim bin said, it is shameful for the international community to allow the heinous crime to continue for nearly two months, during which the systematic and deliberate killing of innocent civilians continues, including women and children. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed concern over the resumption of deadly Israeli bombing in Gaza. The United Nations spokesperson Stefan Dereshek, in a statement, said the United Nations chief is reiterating his call for a sustained humanitarian ceasefire and immediate release of all the hostages. He also emphasized the need for unimpeded and sustained humanitarian aid flow to Gaza. Cricket. The Pakistan women cricket team has made history by winning the three-match T20 series for the first time against New Zealand. In the second T20 cricket match at Dunedin today, Pakistan women team beat New Zealand by 10 runs. The third and final T20 of the series will be played on Saturday. And finally, the weather report. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, smog and fog is likely in the plain areas of the Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Upper Sindh during morning and night hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.